the glorious sound of bacon popping in the background it's because I'm cooking bacon my mother-in-law is visiting she's upstairs playing with Olivia and the boys are taking a nap and Ben's outside and Kino has probably run off nope he's still here yeah not a whole lot going on today um, my mother-in-law is going to take off in about an hour to go back home, and then I think Ben and I are going to take the kids out and go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods and that sort of thing, so. Exciting day! Mmm. We have biscuits in the oven, bacon, and I'm going to make some eggs for everybody. And I'm on coffee number two. And I accidentally broke a wine glass last night, and it was super unfortunate. Yeah, and yes, this is the insert to Olivia's potty, but it's clean, and she's not using it anymore, so it was the first thing we could grab. Yeah, coffee cup number two, and oh my gosh, do I need it. I've been waking up at 5.30, like, every morning for the last few days, and this morning when my alarm went off, um, Olivia actually slept with my mother-in-law last night in her, like, upstairs in her guest room, um, so we didn't have Olivia in bed with us, and I was like, hmm to sleep in or to get up. And so I decided to sleep in and now I'm wishing I had just gotten up because I feel more tired. That's what we're up to today.
just no good way to feed the babies. They get messy every single time and I end up ruining their outfits. And I thought that spray and wash would get baby food stains out, but it does not. I guess I could probably get them naked, but, or put a bib on them, but I'm just not that together. gosh you guys this vlog has been like all over the place <clears throat> so let's just sum up what happened so far woke up this morning my mother-in-law was still in town we hung out in the living room with all the kids we made breakfast we drank coffee we said goodbye and then around 11 30 ben and i loaded all the kids up and we were going to go to tj maxx and home goods but I'd say probably halfway there, because we live pretty far from like everything. Halfway there, we decided that we didn't really feel like doing that. I think we both saw a sign for the mall food court and like almost at the same time said that we'd rather go eat. So we went to the mall because Ben wanted Sarku, I think that's how you say it, Sarku, Japan. He loves that place. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know that every time I go to the mall food court, I cave and get this amazing, amazing, amazing food from this Chinese place. But it literally always makes me feel so sick afterwards. Like I always regret it, but I always crave it going there. So the craving was strong, but I resisted and got a Chick-fil-A salad instead, which just did not satisfy me. But at least I didn't leave feeling horribly sick. So we ate at the mall we walked around for a little bit and then we decided to just head home because Olivia was like having a total meltdown it was way past her nap time nap time and she immediately fell asleep when we got in the car like almost immediately um so we took the long way home to give her kind of a good nap in the car because she's kind of she's a little bit past that phase where you can just like move her out of her car seat and bring her inside and lay her back down and she goes back to sleep she did for a little bit probably like 15 minutes after we got home she was back up um so I've been like really falling behind with the like kids schedule or whatever since daylight savings time sorry I'm listening to Ben and Olivia argue upstairs because she wants to watch something specific on Netflix and he like literally cannot understand what she's trying to say Anyway, so yeah, schedule's been thrown off since daylight savings time happened. So the boys were like super fussy and they needed a nap, but I looked over and it was like almost five o'clock and their bedtime is 7.30 and I was like, oh, well crap. So what's been happening is they've been sleeping till like six. I've been waking them up because they would just stay asleep, but then they would get up super early. I've been waking them up, giving them a bottle and letting them play till almost eight. Um, but I don't really love that. I'd rather get them back 
on schedule for going to bed at 7 30 but the only perk to the eight o'clock bedtime is that all the kids go down at one time so it's like like you can just breathe and relax at that point it's not like two of them go to bed and then you have to deal with another one for another hour like 30 minutes to an hour and then she goes to bed um so i don't know i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to keep them going to bed at eight um or if i'm going to try to reverse them back to like 7 30 i'm not really sure but anyway so ben is going to a little get together with some friends this evening because one of his good friends from the gym he works out at is leaving the area so he's gonna go there and it's at seven or I would go with the kids but like it's it's around all of their bedtime so he's gonna do that that just means I don't have to cook dinner um and then oh I have been working out this week. I started the program 21 Day Fix, which I did after I had Olivia, and I've seen really great results with it. I absolutely love Beachbody programs, so I started 21 Day Fix, and I missed my workout yesterday, but I've been really consistent this week, except for yesterday, and so I'm, I'm about to work out. But I just wanted to say hi and, like, fill you guys in on what happened today, because I just kind of, like, showed you guys this morning, said hello, and then didn't say anything until I was feeding the boys. So, um, yeah, I'm about to work out. And if you can tell from my eyes, they're so glazed over and red, I'm exhausted. But anyway, so I am going to quit rambling and put my tennis shoes on and work out. So, and yes, I work out in my own house with tennis shoes on. I have joint problems and it hurts my feet walking on the hard ground. So, I'm gonna do that. And I just looked at my legs and oh, girlfriend needs to shave. I look like a man. Like you know it's bad when it's starting to feel soft and not prickly. You know it's too long. <laughs> 